Essentially, what we'll be creating is a bed platform with storage space underneath. On the top is obviously where I'll have the mattress and be sleeping, and then in the top right is where I'll have the panel with hinges that allow it to fold over when I want to use the seat as normal. So this is the before, with all the seats flat down, completely flat in the back. We do have some drawers and everything here, which I'm going to get rid of. And this is the after. Plenty of storage space, enough space to sleep one or two people on top, some shocking makeshift curtains, and it's ready for road trips. So, one, two, eleven, something like this. So this side here is the back of the car. So that's the back of the car. Okay, so it's the middle support, okay. It's the middle. We're going to cut one of these. Yeah. So that there's a strip there as well. Mm -hmm. And another one at some point in there, ever offset slightly. And there'll be a leg vertically there. Yeah. Leg vertically there. Leg mm -hmm. vertically there. Leg vertically there. And these are all the timber legs, right? And, yeah, they'll all be timber. Yeah. Yeah, they're all using this stuff. Okay. These two are going to rest on those curvy bits. Yeah. Yeah. And at the front, we're going to build a frame with some legs. That's right. And then here, we're going to cut this one, mount this on a block so that it sits on the curvy bit. Mm -hmm. And this bit will fold up and down. Yeah. So cut that. Your timber panels, your platform. Yeah. Okay. Wiring on top. Mm -hmm. Perfect. It doesn't seem long enough, does it? But... Makes 1.8. Because then you would say cut half of like the front one for instance and then put it on hinge if we can do the flip over so you can yeah. have the other seat up in the deck yeah so that's how long it's going to be oh. huh? that's okay yeah oh so yeah because we're not going to use this entire length of thing no, no, that's oh. gonna be cut. that makes it okay yeah that's Together quite nicely. Oh, you just come this side. Frame in. Yeah. So for this part here, we've just built a block to place on top of this section here, which is for when the chairs sit up and rest back onto it. Bolted it in so it rests, and we can still flip the seat up. Screw this into position. Oh, do you like your new kennel? What like your new home? Okay, I'll have your biscuit. There you go. Ta da!